All right, guys. Hey, we've got the same gear for austere August. Chisel face, midnight stag, carve, Christopher Bradley with the B plate and the um, Omega, I think it's 011842, the Jade, O Jade Connaught Shaving Omega Boar Brush. I'm really liking it this month. Let me load up everything, get my face wet. Let's grab the blade. This is the Nassif. There's a little one symbol there to N1. The N is up here for Nasset 1. I just, you know, picked something arbitrary. Um, I almost thought about M1 for Marathon 1 because it's the first blade that I've marathon, but um, I just decided to go with N because then I'd have to keep track of my marathon blades religiously and just didn't feel like doing that. So the B plate's been doing pretty well. It's uh, it's a neutral exposure, but I, I always get nice feel from it, so it doesn't feel like a neutral exposure. I, when I say feel, I mean a nice close cut, you know? Uh, and so it feels like it's a little bit on the positive side, but I guess that's just, uh, you know, what happens with the way I shave, very lightly, and so it takes advantage of whatever uh, exposure there is. And so that's, that guy's all loaded up. And this will be shave number 411. So we completed the 10 block right there. So um, in addition to that soap, we've got the white label splash to match and then the Midnight Stag EDP. And today we're going to reduce the load even more. 10 seconds was too much last time. Let's go with 8 seconds. All right, eight seconds sounds good. Right at the end of the two and the start of the three, so I'll go to the 11 mark. And wouldn't it be funny if I had to switch to counting swirls, you know, like I did with MDC last year. I'm gonna rake kind of all those suds that I stirred up into the bowl, not really too many. And, oh, it smells so good. You know, if I, if I always wipe my suds off on a certain washcloth, then after a while that washcloth will just be filled with midnight stag leftover suds, right? And some scent and all that stuff. That'd be cool. And then I could use it for a shower or something like that and have great scents. So as you can see, we're not dealing with a lot of extra stuff in the bowl here. So this will be fun to... I'm sure it will make up enough lather, so it'll be fun to watch that happen. Relatively fun. I forgot to wet my face, so let me do that right quick. I don't have 24 hours growth today. I'm trying to get back into my normal schedule. I had a couple of late nights where I was just exhausted and didn't want to shave it at the right time, right before bed. And so I've kind of gotten out of my schedule. So I'm not probably gonna have a really nice, comfy, smooth shave today. 40 milliliters in my jigger as usual. And, but I figure it's fair in terms of like wear on the blade or, you know, that sort of thing because I've already had a couple of shaves where I've had over a day's use uh, growth in play, you know. And so now I'm just kind of on the flip side of that. I may even only need to do two passes. Now you know what I, I think? I think there's a, a number of, of swirls or seconds of loading that just has to be there because that's when you really start picking up soap. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe it's seven swirls, maybe it's five swirls, you know, and so you'll never be able to go lower than that because you don't start picking up soap in any measurable amount until then, you know. And so then uh, that's almost your baseline. 
and that's what you can kind of work with and divide in half if you want to get half as much lather, you know, that sort of thing. That's a theory I'm working on. Oh, see, look, we didn't, you just didn't see very much soap in play, right, early on, but we've got plenty of it here. Hey, I just heard word today from a, a fellow shaver, a watcher of my, um, the, the, I think the YouTube channel, and uh, I heard word from him on, uh, I, I think on Reddit, and he said that uh, he just recently got about 65 shaves on a blade that he's been working on, and previously he, I think, maxed out at about nine shaves, and he was... You know, kind of inspired to give it a shot based on the stuff that I've done with this Nasset blade, and 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 that's that's neat. But you know what I find even even better is that he said that uh, above 20 uses, he has really found uh, a lot of enjoyment in the smoothness of the the shaving experience. The blade is smoothing out, and he's really enjoying that, and. Um, that's what I'm really happy about. He, he found something new that he didn't know before. And, uh, I mean, you know, if you can get your shaves to go quite a long ways, then that's, that's neat and stuff. But it's even better when it's something practical where you, uh, you either improve your technique or you, you find a territory that you didn't know was there. So that made, that, uh, made me smile. Happy about that. So we're... Back to looking kind of creamy and cloudy here. Puffy, like not cloudy as in um, in visual appearance, but cloudy as in light and puffy and that kind of thing. Yeah, this might be, what are we looking at? Yeah, we're looking at about 17 millimeters, milliliters of water. Why don't we just uh, try this guy out right here? Give my face a little splash of water there. As you can see, this leather is working out pretty well right away. And so you might be tempted to just kind of lay it down and start shaving. And, and you know, depending on your skin type, you might be able to do that. But if you want more protection, if you want that creaminess and to feel that slickness on your skin, take time to work it in. Because that's where the, at least the way it seems to me, that's where that protection is. That's where that, got to work it in. Brush feels nice. A little on the scrubby side. You, you do feel the tips a little bit, but they... They bend so easily and have good give to them that you that it's pretty comfortable. Talking online, big old thread was created in another forum that was where a guy was saying, "Are the natural hair brushes are they are their days numbered?" Well, at least from my perspective, no way. Because um, there aren't very many synthetics that I like. Um, almost all of them, and I've tried a good many. Uh, they're too strong in the backbone department. Too springy. They may have really soft tips, but they still... If they shove my skin around because of that, because of that backbone, then it doesn't really matter how soft the tips are, unless you mainly, uh, if you're a person who only does painting strokes, you know, just kind of back and forth instead of the scrubbing type motion, then uh, synthetics are probably not gonna 
you won't really see too many weaknesses in synthetics unless you just I think many people think that they don't quite have as much soul you know but he was really touting the original poster was really talking about their advantages and some of them are definitely there um, how they can work up a lather quicker that sort of thing and how they are better for travel brushes and that certainly is true but his uh, because you know they make great travel brushes because they dry quicker than the natural hair brushes and that's I've definitely cited that in the past as a strength for the synthetics But their face feel to me is just such a big issue. And he was looking at those other kind of what I would consider sub issues and considering them more important and almost like it was a just a provable fact that synthetics are better, you know. And uh, I think that the feel on your face is the most important thing with a shaving brush. And not necessarily that it can whip up a lather 40 seconds quicker than a, a, a natural hair brush. Nothing wrong with synthetics if they make you happy. Uh, I do, and I've tried Timberwolf Cashmere. G4, Sinbad, Plasson type, Boss, Tuxedo, Muley, STF, or whatever that abbreviation is, and they're all the same. I mean, there's a couple that might have more backbone than the other, but they all have too much backbone for me. The mother load knot is very different. That's the only one that I do really enjoy. And I could see myself using that. Um, you know, if there weren't uh, badgers and boars available. A little quick face rinse. So at least there is a, a knot for me out there in the synthetic world if I ever have to do that and who knows I'm, I'm sure that synthetics are going to improve even more and so maybe uh, there will be more of a variety that are in a, a backbone level that you know is, is good for me and so that might change over time but man the badgers and boars just feel so much better to me and with the boars you're able to kind of live with them and and watch them change over time and that's just a really neat thing a lot of guys enjoy that part of the bore process you get them just watch them get softer and softer and so he was kind of coming at it as if things were objective when they're not really at least the most important aspects and I would argue that these important aspects that I'm talking about face feel backbone that sort of thing I would guess for most users that that's gonna be the most important thing you know all right very good feels good comfortable I thought it would I knew it would be since we're don't have quite the length of stubble that we usually do so very nice let me get a good rinse so there we go use number 411 and remember how much soap tiny amount of soap that it looked like I had on the brush after I was done loading well we still have two passes left easily two passes so <laughs> um, I think I'd, I tried yeah, I think I went for eight seconds, roughly. Um, I may have to switch like MDC and count swirls. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe try six seconds next time and see what happens.
I mean, this is plenty of lather at the end, and that was a three-pass shave. Um, I don't know, maybe this is the perfect amount, because in a normal shave with this old blade, I'm having to do four passes, maybe sometimes even five if I want to. And so maybe this is, this is right, maybe eight seconds is the best for me where I am with this older blade. Well, just a wonderful lather here. It doesn't have a lot of resistance. I, I, I usually think of that as cushioned when you're squeezing and it resists you. But it lays down a nice, slick, soapy, light, silky layer there. And that's why it's a good shaving soap. There are other lathers that give you a kind of creamier, slick feel. This is a lighter feel here, but this is just a wonderful performing soap. And, and it's available in some amazing masculine scents and, and then some other more unisex type scents. Just a whole spectrum he's got at Chiseled Face. So it's, it's a tremendous brand and, uh, and I like it quite a bit. Um, so let's do the splash here. And we can tell by the sticker that at some point Chiseled Face was at Pasteur's Pharmacy. And I assume that there's only one and it's the one in New York, right? Now, of course, I believe now that I say that, I, you big dummy, Pasteur's has a lot of stuff. So, of course, one of the most popular brands out there, Chiseled Face, or well known at least, of course, it's going to be at Pasteur's, right? Very nice. The menthol on here doesn't bother me too much. That's good. I, I don't like a lot of menthol. Kind of got used to it. And then we're in the first week of August still, so I'm just going to do one spray on each wrist to uh, accomplish the stag challenge that's for August. And, uh, oh man, that scent is just so good. I'm going to pause you so I can clean up my gear. All right, after towel stropping this brush, after a good drying and sling out of the water, I can start to see some, some little outliers here, uh, something I haven't really seen before. So maybe I will see a good change in this brush by the end of the month. Yep, so about 18 millimeters, milliliters of water were used uh, during this shave and, um, I think the lather was pretty much perfect, you know, eight and 18, eight seconds floating, 18 milliliters of water. So uh, now, of course, um, that eight seconds of loading is predicated upon consistent use of the soap. I guarantee you, if I were to pull that out from not using it for six months and only load for eight seconds, I'd probably get very different results. So uh, consistent use looks like eight seconds. And 18 is a, a nice lather for five or six passes, which is kind of what I'm going for in the uh, austere August here. Um, or at least I should say, while well, I'm using this blade that is kind of old and dull, uh, dull-ish, you know, for a razor blade, where I have to do more passes than, than usual. Um, very good. All right, well, uh, there's the shave for today and what is this the uh, fourth yeah fourth of august we're uh, moving through and i still am enjoying the the midnight stag i think there are 18 other people doing the midnight stag challenge for this month and uh, stephen joiner is the author of that the uh, guy behind uh, dogwood handcrafts the brushes and they're of course affiliated with southern witchcrafts the, the soaps and uh, uh, he likes he likes the stag and he's got good taste, in my opinion, at least. All right, you guys, uh, take care. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. And I hope there's been something in this shave to, to entertain you in some way. You guys, take care. Good night.